Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Kenshi, shall we? We're at our base, our little outpost, and we need to finish this with iron plates. We've got Atto, who is uh, injured, laid up, on the ground, unconscious even. And we've got Soto, who is working. And uh, Ruka is working as well. Tutorial Dude is, you know, doing his thing, researching, which is good. Meow and Hotlongs are over here. So I think I'm going to say, what are we researching? Powered Stone, yes, we need this. So let's unpause the game, and let's keep researching exactly what we are. I'm going to speed it up, and I'm going to check in over here. And she is finishing building this, I guess? What are you doing here, Rucka? There's iron plates inside here. This is done. I think she's stuck. She's, I think she's working too hard at this particular job. Yeah, I'm going to move her. And now she's just working on the ground. If she works on this, then that's correct. Here, go over here. Oh, boy. What are you doing? Um, here, let me turn off your jobs for a second. Okay, now she's back to doing it. Now she's adding materials. Um... To the wind generator. That's correct. I think she was doing that before. It's just sometimes in this game, if pe people are far away from what they're working on, I thought she was trying to finish building this chest. And I was like, it's done. But you could see the condition bar is filling up and she is adding iron plates to this. So that's correct. So we do want that to happen. Is when she gets done, I'll go back and get more iron plates to finish this windmill up. We finished the research. Tutorial dude, what are you doing? He's up here. Um, and he is no longer doing any research. Let's see what kind of research would be left. So for industry, we did finish. Uh, we could do storage boxes for farming. That's, don't need that. And for crafting, robotics. Robotics would be awesome, but we don't have an ancient science book right now. Basic first aid kits. That would be cool. We need some more books for that. That's fine. And beds would be nice as well. But the problem with beds is that I think you have to build them indoors. And right now, I don't want to build anything indoors at my base. Our little outpost. Because if you do that, in my experience, if you build anything out here. Um, Hot Longs is being spotted by something. What is it? It's not dangerous, whatever it is. Because... Must be the guards or something. She's not... Yeah, it's the guards. She's not being threatened. Um, if you build a, a building out here, like a house, or, um, you know, if I were to go in here and I were to say, you know, uh, build a small shack or a storm house out here, the problem is that the bandits that come by would stay there. They would, like, move in. And so, if you want to avoid that, don't build a house. At least, it you know, I don't know if that always happens, but that's what happens to me. And you have to fight them out. So, we need to hire, like, a mercenary group to do that. So, instead, we're just going to leave it as is. Now, Atto appears to have, be well enough to stand up and is now mining. Now, Atto has some iron plates. So, I can go tell Atto to finish this job up, actually. And then both Rucka and Atto, once the plates are added, will work on fixing it up. Um, Atto, do you how many plates do you have in your inventory still? Yeah, you have some. Here, go um go here. Put your plates away. Okay, and then I'm gonna let you go back to your job. And then Rucka should yeah, immediately take these out and work on this. And this will be done in just a second. When she finishes this, we can see how much power we're actually going to be getting. 
see the windmill finishing up here. It's under construction. Boom. So we finished the windmill. Now it is producing 50 power. So at this point now we could start trying to build our, um, you know, stone processor two. And this is, uh, this does require power. So this is what we want because it does take people to work it, but less people and it um, consumes some power. So this is good. So right by the stone box, I'm just going to, you know, uh, rotate this and turn this around and we can build the stone processor kind of in a place where people can easily get to the mine like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the iron refinery and this also will take power and we'll put it right over here. We don't have enough to build these items yet, but we're going to just, you know, place them, put it here. And again, like the bandits will come of all different varieties. Animals may come. They will attack us sometimes. They will beat us up. They will take our food. But they will, I'm going to confirm this, but they will not like trash our buildings. They're not going to just destroy our, our structures. So you can just build these and be okay, at least as far as I've experienced. They will attack your wall, your gate, if you lock your base up because they want to try to get in and find your food and stuff. But they won't just randomly destroy your building. So you can build these without, you know, too much fear. And to be honest, like, look at this. This takes 15 iron plates. This thing takes 10 iron plates. And we're going to be making our own iron plates. So all we'll be out is, you know, the iron plates and the time it took to go out here. But that's not a big deal. And the, the main thing, too, is, like, we're building our toughness. This is just something I still have to get over in this game as I continue to grow and teach myself Kenshi, which is that getting beat up is actually good for you. It's part of the game. And you can see, like, Tutorial Dude never gets beat up because he's our last line of defense. He's our medic. He stays back. His toughness is only two. But the people who are getting beat up, you know, Meow, Soto, Atto, their toughness is going up, and they'll become much more formidable fighters as that stat raises. We can also, when we get attacked, fight back. You know, I will turn them off passive and I will attack back. And that'll help them level up their weapon skills as well. So we need a bunch of iron plates to do this. So I'm going to run Rucka back to uh, Squin to our kind of like base over here. And she's going. I'm going to turn off her jobs for the moment. I think I've told you this, but so in this paradigm where we have two bases where we have this like outpost over here and then when we have our in-town base over here if you have people that have jobs queued up but like let's say Ruka runs all the way back to here and I tell her to be an engineer or I tell her to mine from this particular mine if she's far away from and she's outside of the loading zone of that area, she will not know to do that job because it's like, it's not in her memory or she doesn't have awareness of things through that far away. So you kind of have to still manage people, especially over great distances. But I always like to turn people's jobs off so they don't like end up running back someplace where I didn't want them to. All right, and Tutorial Dude is busily making bandanas. How many we got? Oh, wow, look at that. And let's check our stats. And look at this, 32. So we're almost up to 40 on our bandanas, which means uh, e even higher quality of bandana. And that's phenomenal. I'm actually going to stop. The store is open, right? Yeah, it's open. So I'm going to stop Tutorial Dude's job. And I'm going to just go downstairs with Tutorial Dude and sell stuff. When Rucka gets back, I want Rucka to take a bunch of food for everybody over at the outpost. So, my buddy in the comments, who has been giving me great advice uh, about Kenshi, was saying like that 
it's not necessarily verifiable or it operates differently if the bandits will take the food in your inventory or if they won't. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. So that's a risk we're going to have to take. And I can't, I believe they will take it out of your food storage if you try to put that there. So I'm just trying to be as sneaky as possible. Now, one thing we can do is we can put food storage at our base and then put all the food in there and people will come and go and just take it as they please. And then when we're getting attacked, we can just put all the food in our inventory and hope that they don't take it. Now, check this out. This is another thing. If you go to the squad menu or any of these menus to bring up this screen, you can go to the faction screen and here there will be upcoming events and in this information panel you can actually see when certain groups are going to organize an assault on your base it doesn't work all the time like if there's a wandering roving group and they come across you they'll just attack you or whatever but for bigger groups more organized groups you will see like it's prayer day coming up and the holy empire wants you know to do prayer day with you or the ninjas are coming or the dust bandits are coming or whatever and you can see in this panel like when they're going to come attack you and plan accordingly so that's something we can look out for also why not experiment why not just build a food storage anyway over there all right so what we need is um i need to pick up all this copper and i need to go over here and pick up all this iron and how much food do we have yeah we have a ton of food i love to see that go over here um, open your bags. You know what we can actually do here? Uh, show them our gear. Ruck is in. We're at the point where we could actually hire some, start hiring more people. If we're making enough money and we have enough jobs to do that that's a reasonable idea. All right, I'm going to go over here and trade. Pause the game. I'm going to sell all this copper and this iron. Phenomenal. Rucka, do you have a backpack? These backpacks aren't very good. We could actually just buy sleeping bags and have... Um, I might just put some sleeping bags at our base. I think I'm going to do that. Now, these backpacks, unfortunately, don't allow people to stack items. So they're not as good uh, for this job. I should have given Rucka backpacks. Or somebody... I think I gave one of these. Atto has a backpack. So I should have sent Atto back instead of Ruka. I'll make a switch in a moment. But we want to make sure we have enough medical supplies, enough food, and then we can buy some of these sleeping bags. We'll just buy two for now. And then this way people can recover faster. Like they can get up and lay in the bed. They do recover faster laying in the bed than on the ground so that they can get back up and get to work. All right. And then let's go in here. Now, of course, we're going to have to keep buying iron plates for the moment. Um, actually, how, Roka, how many iron plates do I have in our in our house? Here, can you show me? Let's trade. I'll pause it. We need all the fabric and all the cotton, of course. Cactuses. And I'll just buy all the iron plates. It's fine. Okay, now we should be set. And I'm going to send you back to our house. All right. Now from here, I'm going to, let's see, tutorial dude, how many plates can you give Rucka? Here, take the whole stack and just try to give it to her. She can take four. Uh, oh, I got to distribute these. Now we don't need these mechanical parts right now, so you can put these back and then arrange this best as possible. Okay. So the rest of what she needs to take is food. I'll take the good stuff. Yeah, this is so bad without her having a backpack. So that was a mistake. 
it's really, really hard to transport stuff like that. So I will send her over here. And then tutorial dude. Um, I'm going to go to the general storage here and uh, just dump. Well, I was low on plates, so that makes sense. Dump all that in there and dump these backpacks in there. Or these uh, sleeping bags in here and the cactus in here. And I'm just going to set you back to jobs and you should start making bandanas. Oh, you know what, though? Um, I didn't sell any of my bandanas. But that's okay. So I'm going to immediately send Eto back. Because we don't need stone that much. How much stone do we have? Are you not giving us any stone? Oh, we've got iron. Huh. Oh, okay. It stacks up pretty pretty high right there. It's 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 in the uh, queue here. Okay. Atto. I need you to go back to Squin. You've got that sweet backpack. Ruck is running. Oh, Atto's being attacked. Dear God. Ah, That was a mistake. Sorry, Atto. Okay, so... What you can do in a spot like this is, uh, where's Squin? Yeah, Squin is over here. Why are you taking this path? Go this way. You idiot. I don't know why the, it's my fault. They don't want you to go walk down here for some reason. They really want you to go over and take the road. And there's bandits usually over in this area. So now, uh, yeah, well, these are just roving jerks. I think they took all of our food that time. So we'll come heal, Atto. This is a tough world here in Kenshi. Yeah, d if you can avoid it. I just find this whole stretch of land over here, this road and this highway, and especially these hills, to be rife with jerks. Okay. And Atto is unconscious. Okay, that's not ideal. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to have Rucka um, carry Atto, and then I'm going to just tell Rucka to go, like, right down here. And she'll, I'm going to take Atto back to our base and drop Atto off to heal faster, and then... Atto's got the backpack. You know what, though? While I'm here. Rucker, can you put your plates away? There we go. And then now, go over here. Yes, take this way. This, in my experience, this area over here is far less likely to have roving jerks on it. So we have, what, four plates in here, and this takes ten. No problem. All right, so we're making good progress. And then from here, I can tell Rucka to just be like, uh... I'm going to actually select the bed, and I'm going to just right-click it, and I'm going to say, put in bed. And then she should go do that. Now, tutorial dude, how's your stats doing? 34? Heck yeah. You make any good ba uh, bandanas yet? Yep, there's a standard. So when we level up to 40, every bandana that we make will be standard, minimum, which gives us the money is going to start flowing in. Like you combine this with more people doing copper and iron, and this will really start to add up. Okay, so Rukka has made it and dropped off Atto. So, Rukka, why don't you then go ahead, come over here, and pick up one more of these, and then go here. I uh, know, go into here, and uh, you know what? I got an idea. Atto, 
Oh, your backpack's full of building materials that we haven't put away yet. Okay, well, Ruckus got the backpack now. I'm going to keep some building materials, but not all of these. I'm going to kick back six of them, and then I'm going to take all of the plates that we've got. And I'm going to take these sleeping bags. Now we're talking. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to take uh, more food over to the outpost. Okay. Now let me see what way she takes, because I don't want her to... Yeah, this is the right way to take. Oh, looks like somebody came and wiped us out over here. So this is a dangerous little situation we find ourselves in. But this is good. Toughness up to 14. We should be fine. Now, eventually, once we get this settled, we can consider building walls. I'm going to build walls in gradually, and then we're going to put turrets so that we can actually have some kind of a defense and maybe fend off raiders. But right now, it doesn't look like that is a thing. Right now, we're just going to get beat up. Yeah, armor smith. All right, how are we doing? Okay. And we made it. All right. So first things first, uh, hopefully Ruka can uh, attend to our buddy over here, Soto, stabilize. Field medic skill going up, you see? So this is also good. Just getting our skills up. Just getting our people stronger. We could spend all of our cats and hire mercenaries to defend us so that this wasn't happening. Oh, like, look at this. Who are these people? Just dust bandits right here. They're just asking for a beating. We are asking for a beating. Okay. So in the meantime, I want you to come over here. And so we have a iron plate storage and we have a raw iron storage, raw stone. Here's the building material storage. Um, come over here to the iron plate storage before you get beat up and put all the iron plates in there. And I come over here to the building material storage and... Oh, okay. Well, she's going to fight, and I'm going to turn off passive. You're going to fight back, Rucker. You're good. So let's um, go slowly with this. It's very, very hard to to fight multiple people, unfortunately, but Rucker can actually stand in here and do a little bit of work. So you see she did 33 and 34 damage right there, and her melee attack already leveled up. So the higher the level that the enemy is fighting you, the more experience you actually get. Now, we were able to tend to Soto. And this guy is, like, stealing our stuff, I think. Soto, what do you have on you? Soto has no food. What is this guy doing? He's committing a crime. He's trying to steal our stuff. I think he's looking, but I don't think he took anything of ours. Yeah, he looked through our bags, but... There was nothing there. So that guy would have taken our food. Now, Ruka um, has food. And this is... We might lose it all. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, see, it's just like she'll keep getting staggered. And it's really hard for her to get even a swing off when there's multiple enemies attacking her. So we just have to stand here and get, get wrecked, basically. Nothing else we can do. She got a good swing in there. I'm going to just click her to passive so that she uh, will just get knocked down and hopefully not killed. All right, so you could see they are taking her stuff. That This guy's going through their, her stuff.
and they took the food that was in her inventory, but not in her backpack. So maybe the backpack is a safe place to keep it. Maybe the AI does not search the backpack, which would be, that's where we'll keep our food. And notice how they don't take your medical supplies. They didn't take our sleeping bag. They only take food. So let's go back and check on Atto. How you doing over here, Atto? How's your health? Atto is actually fine. Getting better, anyway. So Atto, we can just tell to wake up. And then that, you know what that means. Uh, at least I know what that means. What I'm going to do is a tutorial dude's coming down to eat. I'm going to take control of tutorial dude. I'm going to um, let him eat and then turn off his jobs. And I'm going to go over here. And, oh, we got 20 copper. Oh, he's been filling his inventory with bandanas. You know what? It must be because the chest upstairs is full. So we've got to go sell all of our bandanas. That's a great problem to have. I'm going to buy a backpack. I'm going to sell bandanas. All right, we're going to run over here. Have a browse. You know it. All right, we're going to start selling all these bandanas. Okay, you see now we're already up to 15,000. And I'm going to just click the camera up to this floor, go into this, and we're going to start. Oh, great. Sometimes you get lucky. This time we got lucky. Right click is selling it right to the merchant. It's not putting it in our inventory. So we are at um, 15,000. And I'm just going to right click all of this. You know, the, the shoddy grade banded bandanas sell for garbage. But eventually, you know, when we start selling more standards, we get those crits, get those standards. The price goes up. And now we're at 17 grand. I'm going to buy. Uh, I'll buy a backpack for Ruka to carry, uh, for Atto to carry. Unfor these do, unfortunately, um, hurt your combat ability, but that's, it's not a big deal. I'm also going to buy some uh, books, just in case we need to research anything. Fantastic. And then we need to buy food. And I'm going to send some more food, some more medical supplies over. And I'm also going to see if there's anybody we can hire. Once I get a buffer of about 10,000 cats, and at this point, we could use some more people up there. The more people we have at our outpost, the better opportunity we'll actually have um, to defend it. And the more experience and toughness we'll get, and we can start actually making our our squad uh, strong. So it seems like it's an annoyance, you know, that uh, those dudes are there beating us up every time. And it is in the sense that it interrupts us and it, you know, it looks bad, but for the most part, it's pretty low risk. And we will get stronger by taking our comeuppance. I'm going to go over here with tutorial, dude. And just see if there's anybody that we can hire. Alright, anybody in here that's worth anything? Who are you? Um, let's trade. Oh, okay. Well, this person has food, which is kind of cool. And uh, a bounty. What about you? Looking for recruits? This is fuming. I'm fuming. Got any skills? He's good with medicine. How much? 6,000. What, just because you're good at medicine? Not interested. We don't need somebody that valuable. Oh, Kang is amazing. I'm going to pay the money for Kang. Kang, you could see here with Kang... Kang has 
20 strength, 15 dexterity, 25 toughness, 20 attack, and 26 defense. So Kang is a baller that we can send out to our outpost, and um, he'll help us, you know, last a little bit longer, get some more hits in. So Kang currently has some equipment on, but we can give Kang even more stuff. So I'm going to um, just tell Tutorial Dude. And Kang, I'm going to shift and select them both. And we're going to go back to the base. We're going to outfit. And we're going to send Kang. Atto has gone back to sleep, it looks like, to heal up, which is fine. Stomach is pretty bad. Soda, where are you? Can you move? No. Rook is in terrible shape. So where's the tutorial, dude? Let's get back there. I'm going to send Kang over to patch up Ruka, Rucka. Okay. Get over there, people. All right. Okay. So from here, I'm just going to go into Tutorial Dude's inventory and give the backpack to Kang. And then Kang, I want you to, yeah, you're wearing the backpack, great. And then Tutorial Dude, can you just give Kang all of these wraps? And you can actually take this advanced first aid kit. I'll buy a different one. I'm going to give you this food. And make sure all of this is in your backpack. Oh, you have a, you have a first aid kit, a pretty good one. Okay, great. Then just give that back to Tutorial Dude. Okay, that's a good start. Now, you notice things don't stack in the small backpack. Sadly, it's not as good as the, the backpack that we have. But this is fine. So right now, then, I'm going to just put Tutorial Dude... Uh, go put these books away. Uh, tutorial Dude, go over here, put these books away. Okay. Here. Shift click the whole stack. Put them in there. There you go. And then I'm going to turn your jobs back on. And then Kang, we're going to just go to our outpost, please. Oh, wait. No, Kang. Sorry. One second. I want you to go there, of course, but come back. I think I have some equipment for you. So you don't have any armor on. No, no, no. Um, you can wear that. Oh my gosh, look at all these bandanas. I did. We were putting the excess bandanas in here. I thought, got even more to sell. How about that? Well, it's fantastic is what it is. All right, Kang, you're good now. This doesn't necessarily make Kang stronger as a fighter to put all this equipment on, but it makes Kang more durable. All right, and then Tutorial Dude is working. All right, we're going to speed it up. I'm going to watch Kang. Atto is awake. And that means we want Atto to also... Uh, go back, but can you... Is there anything for us here that we need, Atto? Not really here. Go into the food barrel. Take a few pieces of food, and then I need you to go to the outpost. Sweet. Oh, Tutorial Dude is doing this. We must be out of um, fabric. Well, then, let's go in here. Let me turn off your jobs. All right, come on, Kang. I need you to save. Oh, Rook is up. Okay, Kang. Help. 
Patch up, Ruka. Okay, Kang, um, help, and... Uh, Soto is not in good shape. Kang, do you have any medical supplies left? What's going on here? Ah, she's actually okay. She doesn't need treatment. All right. Then, Kang, you just got a new job of uh, engineer. And then if you're done with that, I want you to do that. Ruka, turn on your jobs. Let's go. Let's build stuff, people. Sweet. And the store is still open. Let's trade. All right. I'm going to actually go over here. Go to this storage. Go down a floor if I can inside my base. Ah, that might not work. Okay, it doesn't work. I'm going to have to go into my base with Tutorial Dude to uh, get this stuff out of here. No room for it. I know. It's going to be a pain. Unless I have somebody who's inside the base. Oh, and the shop is closed anyway. Okay. I think what might be easiest in this strange situation is just to have Tutorial Dude um, go up here and put all of these bandanas into this box. And just kind of run back and forth here instead of running back to the shop. Actually, maybe I could pick them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could pick them up right here. And then just go up. And then um, maybe I can even open all of this. Now you can only have one storage open at a time, but that's still better. So this way we can access this from the store. Because... I, I'm not able to see inside the house unless somebody's in here. Great. Almost done. I'm going to speed it up. Click on this. Okay. And then let's go down and click on this. And then just take these out. Okay, fantastic. Now, let me see. Where's Soto at? So Soto's down for the count they tried to build this let me pause and just see what everybody's doing um ruka is um are people working on yeah under construction ato is operating the machine kang is being an engineer so they're actually building this ah but they're at cross purposes i was worried that this would happen um kang i need you to let me see what's available we have one iron plate left I knew that they would do this. They would, like, evenly distribute the iron plates that we had so that we finished nothing. Ah, oh, it's so sad. But, okay. Nothing we can do about it now. Um, we'll just go to Tutorial Dude and just speed it up. And let me go up here and look at the situation in this box. There's no fabric. There's no fabric. There's nothing. It's empty. All right. It is empty. All right, then. Well, we can research. Um, What do we want? Well, you know what we're going to need? Um, we already did... Yeah, let's, let's work on our crossbows. So, mounted crossbows. Okay. Two requires ancient science book. We don't have that. Um... Yeah, we probably want corpse disposal for people who raid us. Imprisonment allows us to capture people. Or bounties, I guess, which, you know. We need research bench level 3, though. I think I've researched it. Yeah, we have tech level 3. Okay. Okay. Let's do basic first aid kit, um, and let's see, improved stone mining just gives us a better stone mine. Improved stone mining 
two. Okay, great. Right. And I'll just unpause it and um, put him back on his jobs and he'll go research. Once the shop opens, we could sell some bandanas and try to buy plates and get them shipped over to finish at least the production of plates. That's what has to happen. Show them the gear. All right, I'm just going to watch this door. This tells us when things are open. We finished basic first aid kits, which is great. Everybody over here, by the way, is um, done. So Rucka is aimless, so we're going to give her another job, which is going to be... Uh, let's see, how many people can work at this? Two? All right, let's... Let's get some stone. Well, how many iron do we have? We have 10. This holds 100. We need iron more than anything else. So, Rucker, why don't you go mine iron? And then tutorial dude, let's just unpause it. And improved stone mining is getting better. Okay, got it done. Now we're doing the next part. So we're actually pretty good at researching with, um, yeah, 43 science, not bad with tutorial, dude. Sun's coming up. You could see this will open momentarily. We're going to sell everything. We're going to buy iron plates, and we're going to just take them over to our outpost to try to finish. What I want to do is finish the production of iron plates so we can make them ourselves and not have to worry about it anymore. Okay, great. Tutorial dude is um, working on researching this. I'll actually finish this. This is fine. We're almost done. He's like, it's empty. I know, it's empty. Don't worry about it. Almost done. Got it. All right, now we're just going to pause. And tutorial dude, go right here. And pick up all this copper. And go right here. No iron there. Do we have any plates here? We don't. All right, so what I need you to do is we got to go over here and sell. The reason I'm going here, by the way, to sell, what is this group of people doing? These are nomads, and these are... Now, this guy right here, um, we might be able to buy animals from if they're selling them. Doesn't look like it, actually, but anyway. Animals are great. They're, they would be super helpful for us to transport goods and we'll probably get some but we can't really protect them very well right now all right let's go over here and let's trade pause i'm selling to this person because uh we can easily sell bandanas to them and then we'll go buy the plates so let me just move over here and go up a floor uh, move the camera around and let's see where's my place is right here. Here we go. All right, these are going in my backpack, sadly. But that's okay. We'll just go here and uh, sell them from here. All right, you can see we're back up to, you know, 8,000 cats. Not a lot, but we hired a new person, so it's very expensive. Oh, that's right. There has to be an empty space. There you go. All right. And good. And now let's go from here uh, over to the general store. Let's click inside the doorway. Run in and be like, what's up, dude? Show me your goods. I need all of your plates. They have nine, which is beautiful. I'm also, of course, going to buy the fabric and the cotton and the cactus. That might be all the cactus I ever need, which is good. I think we're good. And then I'm going to just take this. I'm going to run over here with tutorial, dude. Kang is operating the machine. 
Atto's operating machine, Soto's operating machine, and Rucka's operating the machine. This is going great. Tutorial Dude is almost here. And so I'm going to tell Tutorial Dude to come right here, and I want Tutorial Dude to add all of the plates to this project. This is the one we need to finish. And then now, immediately, you see because Kang and Ruka have engineering as a higher priority job, as soon as they get the plates that they need, they're going to come finish this. And then Tutorial Dude can help out. But actually, I want Tutorial Dude to go over here and just finish uh, this job. And this almost has, this is only four, missing four plates now. And they're going to come here and finish this, or work on it as much as possible. And we'll just let them do this job. You can see there, they're doing it. Okay, and the tutorial dude now is here. But what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to peel off uh, one person. I'm going to peel off, oh, Kang, I suppose. He has the backpack. And Kang is going to get a new job, which is to operate this. And I'm going to slide this above. So I'm going to put operate uh, refinery here. And this thing, you could see it could take actually two workers. Uh, so we can start sending more people. I think we need iron more than we need. Well... Let's see what the rate is of like how we keep up with the iron that we mine. Because we might want two people operating this. But you could see it's fully powered. Um, so we have no problems with providing power for this. And tutorial dude, let's go back to base. Right over there. Heck yeah. Now, wait, which way are you going, Tutorial Dude? Are you going the right way or the wrong way? Um, the wrong way. This is probably faster, but I don't like going anywhere near this area. Now, once we get here, the guards will save us, so it's fine, but not my favorite. Look, the guards are already fighting somebody. Actually, let's see. Do they have anything good? What you got? Nah. Not really. She's a ex-slave, so she's got, like, manacles on. Alright, um, let's go over here. Alright, now Tutorial Dude's right here, so I'm just gonna click on Jobs, and Tutorial Dude will run right up and start making lids. Cloth lids for everyone, and getting the money going. Actually, he's starting to use the cotton, but that's fine. So... What we now have is, you could see over here, we actually have automated our own iron plates. Once we get these iron plates going, we can start putting them in here to finish building materials. Building materials might not seem important right now, but once we want to start building walls, that's what those are made of. So we're going to need a ton of them. Building houses and stuff, we'll need a ton of them. So we need both of these things, and we've got it. And look, Kang's going to go every time and repair this and Rucka's like let me help out and we're under attack and this is how it's going to be <laughs> every once in a while we're going to get knocked around but I'll tell you what Kang um, I, Kang is off passive Rucka is also going to be off passive we're going to fight back um, Atto where are you come over here and uh, attack this target let's get some practice in doesn't matter. They beat us up. We try. Oh, they're... Yeah, they're shooting us with crossbows. I was like, okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate. This is a good... They have a real professional hit squad here. And they're just going to walk through. But let's check it out. Kang is... Knocked out. Rucka still has some food in the backpack. Soto has no food. And, you know, we need food. 
So we're going to need to bring food over here, but it's all right. So I'll have tutorial dude just run over some emergency rations, try to hide them in the backpack, and keep this dream going here of our outpost. Eventually, we will fortify this, but we're not there yet. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're still finding this series to be fun and useful. Take care.